Welcome in everyone. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm Franco Javier M and today we're going to be looking at the top 50 player ratings in Ultimate Team. This is the official list. Um, I think this was dropped from EA. I don't know. I'll leave the link down below where you can see this list, but these are the official ratings. Um, this was released about a week ago and we're going to take a look at some of the changes that some of these players got. Um, I myself haven't done any content for EAFC 24, so this is the first video. I've been just playing some Starfield and recently NBA 2K24, um, but I thought, you know what, we're, we're getting closer, what, today we're 12 days away from EAFC launching, so that's exciting, I can't wait for the game to come out, um, but yeah, let's get this started. So, Martinez is number 50. Um, I don't think anything's changed. I have some notes here that I have, so I'll be looking over, but he got a minus three in his pace and he got a plus three in his shooting, but everything kind of just stayed the same. Maybe a couple of dribbling sets decrease and stuff like that. Um, De Jong is up next. He's always good at the start of FIFA. Um, I actually packed his shapeshifters about a few weeks ago and I freaking love that card in uh fifa 23 but yeah at the start of the game that he's gonna be awesome nothing's really changed with him he's got the same rating um coming up here odegaard this is a massive change there's a couple other massive changes as well in terms of rating boost uh that some players received but odegaard he was an 84 rated in fifa 23 and then now he's coming in with an 87 rated he has five star skill moves in fifa 23 but he has a two-star weak foot. It'd be kind of uh, interesting that they bump him up to a three-star weak foot. Um, but other than that, he looks like a great starter card. He's going to be a walkout. Um, it's going to be great. Great for the Arsenal fans. Um, yeah. Uh, Mike Magnine and Marquinhos. Nothing's really changed here for Mike. Uh, Marquinhos got a minus one rating. He Or no. Yeah. He was an 88 rated overall. But here he is 87 still gonna be good it doesn't really matter too much there he's got the good pace of 78 and that's what you want in center backs at the start of the game uh moving on up we've got modric possibly one of the best midfielders we've ever seen to play the game he's got a minus one overall rating they bumped him down to an 87 he was before an 88 still looks good put an engine on him you'll increase the pace um yeah you know the passing is gonna be good with him not much else you can say there uh son they dropped Sun. He was an 88, I believe. What do I have on my notes? He was an 89, so he dropped two. Uh, down to an 87, which I guess when it comes to ratings, I you know, I never really pay attention too much to ratings. So from what I see here is that they're just what what I assume is that they're basing it off performances from last season. Um so he I guess he did have a bad season last season. Um, so he's down to an 87. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be a good card. He's got the pace. He's got the shooting. His animations are always good. Uh, Neuer from an overall rating of 90 down to an 87. That's a big hit, but goalkeepers are all the same pretty much in FIFA 23 or I guess in any kind of FIFA game. There's nothing that stands out too much for goalkeepers. Um, coming up to this list or this section here the 42 41 and 40 we've got our first females that we get to look at sophia smith katoto and endler now a lot of people are excited to see sophia smith she's got 93 pace 85 shooting 78 passing 88 dribbling physicality of 82 that looks like an amazing starter striker card it's gonna be awesome to see what you can do with these cards with the whole evolutions um feature that we're gonna be able to do where you can upgrade players by uh completing objectives and stuff like that will be interesting to see if we can even do that with these type of cards because they're so high rated um but yeah sophia smith i've heard a lot of talks about her i don't know what she'll be in terms of like a five star weak foot or like a four star skill move i think that's what people have been saying um because i didn't play the beta so i would i didn't even get to see like people i didn't even get into the beta basically i didn't get a beta invite so um if she does have already official five star weak foot and four star skill move that's gonna be amazing um but yeah that's gonna be a great card if you're able to pack her or buy her off the market uh katoto also good striker card a little bit less on the pace but it's got good shooting good dribbling um physicality is okay passing is okay for a striker as well um the funny thing in here though is that she is french and she plays for paris psg and she's a striker so that is going to be the mbappe troll when we're opening packs it's going to be awesome it's going to be pain 
um but i'm very excited um i'm very all for it for women being in football or being an ultimate team i have no care for for it whatsoever but uh this is going to be the troll here katoto uh trolling us thinking that we got mbappe on next is endler she is the first goalkeeper now something here is that she is six foot tall which is 183 centimeters uh more or less and uh goalkeepers like i said with neuer it doesn't really matter they're all fodder um goalkeepers that are six foot in the game is jan sommer now i never really used him and i don't think he ever got a special card but casillas even though he's an icon and i feel like icons get that extra oomph, you know in in gameplay extra stat boost that icon stat boost uh, i always use casillas a lot of people didn't like him because he's too short i always used him in my team I had no care for uh height or whatever because goalkeepers just do the same thing all over and over uh over here we go to valverde guijaro and osiman now this is interesting here because valverde got a really big boost here from an 84 rating in FIFA 23 to an 88. Holy moly. Uh, and other, another thing here notable is that he is Hullet Gang. 80s all across the board. 88 pace, 82 shooting, 84 passing, 83 dribbling, 80 defending, and 82 physicality. That is a broken starter card there. Hopefully you guys can pack him. Hopefully I can pack him. I'll be doing an RTG. Um, actually, a first owner RTG is what I'll be doing in my uh, EAFC 24 um, account. But yeah, he looks amazing. Good luck if you guys do get him. Um, that's going to be an amazing card. Uh, Guijaro, she plays for Barca, which uh, she doesn't even look bad either. I mean, the pace, she's almost Hullet Gang too. Just physicality and pace. You give her an anchor or something like that, and you have a good starter card there. 88 rated overall. Oshiman is going to be very good. Oh, another thing here real quick before we go to Oshiman. Valverde is high, high work rates. Hopefully they don't take that away. I don't know why they would take that away from him, but, you know, it's EA. They always do something very interesting. And the same thing here with Guijaro. I don't know what her work rates are looking like, but hopefully she is high, high or medium high. That'd be kind of cool. Um, or high, medium. Other, other than that, uh, medium, medium would be kind of dead. Uh, but yeah, hopefully those are the work rates for these two players. Oshiman here, like I was saying, he's got a big upgrade here. He from he went from an 83 to an 88 here at EAFC 24. The pace is amazing. The shooting's amazing. Passing's a little bit low. Uh, dribbling's 83 and the physicality's 82. He's going to be cracked. He's going to be amazing if you get him at the beginning. Um, his FIFA 23 card is a three-star skill move and a four star weak foot maybe they give him a boost in the skill move or maybe they give him a boost in um the weak foot that would be kind of amazing for us uh coming up here a couple more female players um who do we have here we have gore rainton who plays for chelsea she is left mid and she looks good 88 pace and the passing is at 86 85 dribbling the physicality is a little bit low, but uh, that's not too much uh, to worry about. She uh, she might be uh, tinier. She might be like a tinier build or whatever. Um, so maybe she's glitchy. Maybe she's got like four star skill moves or something like that. Um, but yeah, that looks like a good left mid card. Uh, Renard, it's the physicality and defending is really good. It's the pace that's really low. It's 53 pace. It's like a it's like getting getting Tiago Silva, right? Tiago Silva always has like fifty something pace uh <laughs> at the beginning of the game until they get their their boost with the promo cards. Um but yeah, it will be good fodder for her. Same along with Paredes here, who plays for Barca. Same thing there. Pace is a little bit better though. 69 pace. I think you can get by with it if you throw a shadow on her or uh, an engine or an anchor or something like that. But yeah, that's it's nothing great right there um dabinia i've heard a lot about her i've seen some videos talking about her i don't know if it's official but i think she will be five star five star her dribbling's at 92 she's brazilian she gets the brazil links um the passing's in 87 shooting 81 84 pace as well and like i said the five star five star um that's gonna be cracked her dribbling looks really good uh going on here to pop alexandra pop she's got good pace good shooting uh, pace, I guess, is not the best, um, even though I said she has good pace, but if you put like an engine on her, improve that pace and improve the passing, then you're good to go. Um, she was in the FIFA World Cup. She actually played against Colombia. And if you guys don't know, I'm Colombian-American and I was watching for both USA and Colombian uh, 
for both of their teams during the World Cup, and uh, she was good. She was actually really good. She's um, she's amazing. Um, Bernardo Silva, I don't think he got anything here changed here. The pace is really too low. I, I, like at the beginning of the game, you really want to focus on pace. I try not to do it because I feel like that's kind of the meta. Um, I try to go just for players that I want to use in real life and or who I like in real life and players that I just want to use and test them out. Um, but if you're looking to build that like really good first team, try to focus on pace, even though it is the meta. Um, you're not really going to be able to use Bernardo Silva too much. Maybe slap an, an engine on him and you're kind of good to go. Uh, Kimmich, I think Kimmich got a decrease. Yeah, he got a decrease. He went from an 89 overall to an 88. Pace is low on a 70. Work rates, I don't remember what his work rates are. I think it's high, high or medium, high or high, medium, something like that. Um, I don't think they'll mess around with the work rates too much. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, pace is low, but um, he got an increase from an 86 to an 88. So he did get an increase there. Um, he has good passing of 90 and good shooting of 86. So if you can put an engine, I guess, <laughs> always to improve the, the pace, right? Um, you can do that. All block, um, I think he went from an 89 to an 88. Um, yeah, he did. Um, nothing there different there from, um, for goalkeepers, right? Uh, Ederson also went down from an 89 to an 88. Again, goalkeeper, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think a lot of people liked Ederson in fifa 23 especially when he got his uh what did he get did he get a footies card i don't even remember anymore i know he had a baller's card a footballer's card and i really enjoyed that card um but yeah that will uh minus one is not going to be much of a big difference griezmann here now this is a big one because griezmann went from an 83 overall rating in fifa 23 to an 88 here in eafc 24 the pace is up to an 80 shootings an 88 dribbling 88 passing 87 he'll make a good cam um or center forward uh, or maybe even a good right wing player um uh, but his card is always good no matter what it's always the card that you want to always have at the beginning and then especially with the promo cards uh, i just recently got his buddy's card and i haven't even really used him because i haven't really been playing too much um but yeah that's uh, that's a big blow up for him uh salah here went down to a minus one but not much of a difference he's gonna be good no matter what he's always good um coming up here it's Vinny. Vinny also improving from an 86 to an 89 it's vinicius jr what can we say much about him you already know his card's always good Although that footies card that we got for free, I don't know. For those of you guys that used them in FIFA 23, did you enjoy him or did you not enjoy him? I didn't really like him that much for, for whatever reason, but uh, I'm hoping to get his gold card here at the start of EAFC 24. And it's really hard to me to, for me to say EAFC 24 and not say FIFA 24. So if you, <laughs> I'll probably be saying out the name fully here just just to get used to it. Uh, up next, it's Mappy Leon, one of the better center backs in the females. Um, I don't know her height, but I guess we can compare it to Marquinhos, FIFA 23 goal card at the start of the game. Similar pace, similar shooting and passing and dribbling and stuff, and the physicality and the defending. Uh, 89 rated overall. This is what you want for center backs is the pace there with the 75 or above. Uh, Rodri, Rodri's on fire. He's got a plus one rating interesting no he got a plus two i think he was in at 87 i can't remember anymore either way um his work rates are currently medium high now i am gonna be a fraud here what if they do high high work rates because i feel like especially towards the end of the 23 season he was scoring goals right he scored in the ucl he scored in the final couple games of for man city maybe they changed him to a high high that'd be kind of great although his pace is very low um i don't even know if you could put an engine on him honestly to give him a boost but it'd be interesting if they do change his work rates i don't think they will because it's already at a medium high um but it'd be kind of cool if they did change high high um change it to a high high up next here we're up at the almost at the top 20s with 21 diani who plays for leon um she looks really good i don't have much to say just look at her stats maybe she gets four star skill moves and four star weak foot i don't know too much about her but i can't wait to try her out um if i pack her uh, i might even run two accounts where i can actually buy cards and do a little bit of trading to try, try out new promo cards and stuff like that create more content basically 
Um, but yeah, she uh, she looks good. 89 pace, 85 shooting. The dribbling's in 88. Physicality, 77. And passing, 83. That looks like an amazing card. Um, yeah, that's going to be amazing. Up next, it's Heger Hegerberg. Hegerberg. Um, I think this is the Erling Holland troll. It is. Yes, it is. she is the Erling Holland troll um, with the Norwegian flag and the striker positioning. She looks good. She honestly looks good. Improve the pace. Improve a little bit. The passing's already good. It doesn't really matter. I guess the pace is what you want. Shooting 89, physicality 76. Looks really good. These two play for Lyon. Interesting. We've seen a lot of Lyon players and Barca players here. A couple of Chelsea players uh, for the females. Um, up next, Allison Looks good. Always, um, always a good card at the beginning of the game. Nothing really changed from him. I think he stayed with the same 89 rating. My queen, my queen, my queen is up next. Alex Morgan, she is 18 overall on this list. Um, looks very good. Pace is good, 83. Improved the pace a little bit. Shooting, 89. Passing, 80. Dribbling, 88. Physicality, 80, uh, 77. I don't know what her um, skill moves and stuff like that are, but I'm hoping for a four-star skill move and a four-star weak foot. Um, I can't wait to gritty on people while using Alex Morgan in EAFC 24. Ruben D's, Ruben D's. Um, what do we have here? He got a plus one. Got a plus one. Pace is really low. This is what you don't want. You don't want the pace, regardless of how good his defending and physicality stats are. Pace is too low. Um, it's fodder. But let's be honest. Uh, Virgil, see, this is what you want. You want 78 pace. Look at the difference. This is a better center back, especially at the beginning of the game. You know, people running pace merchants. I'll probably end up running, being a pace merchant. Um. Although I don't like it, but it is what it is. If you want to be able to play well in division rivals and stuff like that. But yeah, it's going to be awesome here um, with him if you're able to pack him. Casemiro's up next. I don't know if anything changed on him. Yeah, nothing really changed on him. Oh, one thing here for Virgil is that he went from a 90 to an 89. That's the biggest thing. Like I said, Casemiro, nothing there. Neymar, our first Saudi player. Nothing changed stats-wise. Yeah, nothing really changed stats-wise. He's the same 89 overall rating. The only thing that changed is obviously that he's playing in Saudi and he'll have better uh, squad build building abilities to all the new Saudi league players. Ronaldo, Koulibaly, Kante, Benzema, right? Those hard links to them. Uh, but yeah, nothing really changed on him. Ter Statue or Ter Stegen, who I guess against Japan the other day, yesterday, a friendlies, he had seven saves or eight saves and they ended up losing 4-1. Uh, unlucky for... Um, for Germany. Good, good thing that they're hosting the Euros, because I don't know if they qualify. Uh, but he got a plus one. He got a plus one, and he's still rocking his new hair, so that's amazing for him. Uh, Bonmati. 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 Center mid for Barca. She looks really good. What do I have on her? I don't have anything written on her. I guess I have to react to this naturally. She looks really good. Pace is good. Shooting is 84. Passing 83. Dribbling 91. Physicality is a 73 and defending 75. Hoping for like a high medium work rates or medium high or a high high work rates. Who knows? Uh, she looks really good playing for Barca. Another Barca player is Graham. Graham Hansen, she looks absolutely cracked. 89 pace, 88 passing, 86 shooting, 91 dribbling, hopefully for like a four star, five stars uh, skill move, something like that it would be amazing for her. Um, Courtois, I don't think anything changed on him, right? Yeah, it, nothing really changed on him. He's still at a 90. Um, the only unfortunate thing here is that we're not going to be seeing any kind of team of the weeks or informs for him because of his uh, ACL tear that he had during preseason or during summer training uh hopefully he has a good recovery but yeah we won't be able to see any player performance in forms for him uh up next here we got the top 10 so courtois was number 10 now we're up to nine eight and seven benzema kane and Lewandowski, the two big clunky strikers in fifa uh first up is benzema got a Minus one? Yeah, he got a minus one from a 91. I don't think that matters too much. He's going to be cracked no matter what. And like I said, he'll be able to link with uh, Neymar once again. Oh, better links, I guess. Harry Kane doing really well in Bundesliga. He went from... Uh, what did he do? He got a plus one rating. He got a plus one rating. Very cool. Pace is a little bit low, um, but he's an automatic striker, automatic finisher in FIFA 23 or I guess EAFC 24. 
Um, just the pace is going to be a little bit of a little underwhelming there, but it is what it is. Slap a hunter on him or a hawk or something like that. I don't know to improve his pace if you really want to use him. Uh, Lewandowski. Lewandowski is a plus one rating here. And yeah, I mean, these guys, who, who, who has the most pace? Benzema has the most pace. And then it's Lewandowski and Harry Kane. He'll be good at the start. It's it's good starter cards there. Or if you want to use them as far, fodder, it doesn't really matter. Um, up next here is um, number six, five, and four. So Kerr, Sam Kerr, who did really well in the World Cup when she played. I know she was coming in from an injury. She played, uh, I think she only actually played one full game. And it was the game where they got knocked out. I forgot who they played. Uh, but she did really good. Uh, she was actually really good. I don't know what she'll be in terms of a weak foot, maybe a five star weak foot or a four star four star. Her dribbling is a 90, so we can hope for like a four star skill move type of vibe for her. Um, but yeah, for me as a Chelsea fan, I'll be using her in the past and present Chelsea team. So that would be awesome to use. Um, I can't wait. Messi. Messi is Messi. Messi scoring all these free kicks. I don't know if you guys have been watching him in the MLS. He is absolutely cooking. Uh, he got a minus one rating. Not too much to say anything here. He's got low pace of 80, I guess, for a white right wing player. But it is messy. Messi's always messy in FIFA or in EA, I guess, now with uh, EA Sports. New title change. Putellas. 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 World Cup champion winner. She is amazing. Center attacking mid for Barca. 91 dribbling. 92. Uh, I'm sorry. 91 passing. 92 dribbling. 90 shooting 82 passing she looks really good physicality 78 and 72 as well for her defending looks really good be interesting to see what her work rates are and um fight and the skill move in the weak foot maybe a uh i don't think her weak foot will be too big maybe three star maybe two star i'm not too i don't know too much about her Let's, i'm gonna be honest i don't know anything about her i saw a little bit of her in the world cup um but yeah and then the top three at the very top here we go it is KDB, Erling, and Mbappe. So KDB, I don't think anything changed. Yeah, I don't think anything changed. He's got 72 pace. You want to improve the pace just a little bit if you get him. Um, but his card is always good at the beginning of FIFA. Got good passing of 94. Dribbling's a good 86, 88 shooting. Um, nothing really changed. I, his pace is the thing that changed the most. I guess he was at a 74 or 75 pace in FIFA 23. Yeah, they bumped him down to a 72 or lowered him down to a 72. Um, but still going to be a good card if you get him. And then Erling and Mbappe, the two cover stars. Or I guess it's actually Erling now because Mbappe wasn't anywhere to be seen on the cover. Anyways, Erling is Erling. I don't think there's much to say about these two. He's going to be really good. Other than that, he went from an 88 rating to an 91. He's going to be glitchy. We've seen him in all the trailers and stuff like that. He's going to be really good for the lengthy meta which is awesome because I love the lengthy meta at the beginning of FIFA 23. It was so much fun until they kind of patched it, but not really patched it because it was still a thing throughout the whole game. It's just that they improved the controls and the explosive players a little bit better. He's going to be really good if you pack him or if you buy him or whatever. And then again, of course, Mbappe, number one, his pace is 97, the highest rating of pace, I think, of all of the players in here. And it's Mbappe, the best goal card in the game, always the best goal card in the game. I think his goal card is still really good at this point in FIFA 23 here in September. So it's Mbappe. He will always be OP forever. Well, there you go. That's going to be it for this EAFC 24 video looking at the top 50 official ratings. A couple of my takeaways is that I can't wait. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have any kind of takeaways here other than that. I can't wait to actually use the females in FIFA 24 or FIFA, uh, EAFC 24. There we go. That's my first mistake on calling the game FIFA 24 when it's actually EAFC 24. Um, I don't really care too much about ratings, to be honest. I just can't wait for the game to come out. Um, I guess the one or a couple players that I do really want to have here in my squad would be Valverde and Dabina, who will have, I guess, five-star skill moves is what's been talked around. Uh, and I actually really want to try out uh, Guijaro. I think this right here, 37 and 38 and uh, 39. Valverde, Guijaro, and Oshiman would be awesome to have in uh, in the RTG account. Same thing with Sophia Smith. Would be awesome to get her in there as well. Um, and then obviously my Chelsea players, um, my Colombian players, and other USA players, both men and women players because uh there are some women Colombian players that are that did really well in the world cup and i would love to see what their ratings are going to be 
Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this top 50 official ratings. I might do some videos reacting to some of the predictions that have been floating around Twitter. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do it yet. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are excited for EAFC 24. I know I'm excited. We are 12 days away from being September 22nd for the early access. If you pre-ordered it, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and sub to the channel. I stream on Twitch uh, not every day lately because I've been been just taking a break because i know when eafc comes out i'm gonna hit it hard but if you guys want to check me out on twitch twitch.tv slash franco javier m i also stream on youtube i will make an effort to stream more on youtube for the new game and it's gonna be awesome and i'll see you guys in the next one laters